Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, exit Steam, and then you can launch Steam once again, and then check if that does not work, restart your computer once. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to rename or delete the config folder. Now for this, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data folder, open local folder. Now find mines i folder, open this folder, open saved folder. Here you can see config folder. So you can create a backup if you want to create a backup. You can just copy it and then once you have a backup, you can rename it or you can just delete this folder and launch the game and then check. If that does not work, rename or delete the save game files. Now when you rename or delete the save game files, you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can do this but create a backup first now to create a backup uh, you can again go back to the same location here you can see mines i go to this location and then copy this folder create a backup maybe paste it to the desktop now once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder Now once you rename it, now launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder and then make a right click on the game exe files, select properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, open MindSci binaries Win64. Select this exe file, do the same thing. Go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on run this program as an administrator, hit apply, make a double click, launch the game and then check, still not working. Then go to properties once again and this time put a check over here. Select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, select Windows 7 this time. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to verify the game files. So for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check it's still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Then click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app, click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. In my case, the location is this. And then select the game exe file, click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app, click on browse all apps. And then open MindSci binaries win64, select this exe file, click on open and then Type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, open this folder, binaries, Win64, select this exe file, click on open. Now click on add, allow another app, browse and check if there are any other exes file. Okay, so add the game file. Now once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. 
So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users you can first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder open this folder binary is win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game over here and select high performance over here and then launch the game still not working the next step is to roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working we can go to nvidia website once again select your graphic card operating system and then click on find this will take you to the next page on this page click on view more version so scroll down so scroll down and over here you can see view more version option click on it the latest one right now is 576.52 whichever is the latest you can try maybe 576.28 or or maybe you can even try 566.36 but when you roll back make sure that you select the custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install visual c file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website download these visual studio files so download this x86 and x64 so click on it and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file as well if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed and then close this and then restart it can be a restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner reward inner or any kind of overclocking application running close it disable steam overlay also, if you have undervolted, you can better remove the undervolt. To disable the Steam overlay, you can go to Steam Maker, right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then launch the game. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings and turn off NVIDIA overlay. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to Unplug all the external devices from your computer. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Sometimes you have extra controller connected. So disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then Click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then 
select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working we can uninstall the game after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like e drive or f drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel